A shocking statistic for you. Worldwide, a person dies every 40 seconds due to suicide. 800,000 people a year. Don Wright lost his own son to suicide last year, and he's taking a unique approach now to trying to save others. He founded the Suicide Project, and people are coming together this Saturday for a summit and hackathon, and Don was kind enough to come in this morning to talk about the summit. I'm so sorry about your son, Don. Thank you. Uh, what is a hackathon? We've never <laughs> heard of that before. So a hackathon, generically, is is uh, a whole bunch of people getting together to try to solve a problem. Okay. Usually it's around technology. Um, it, a lot of times it is a whole bunch of young people mm. uh, getting together in a place and feeding them with Mountain Dew and pizza <laughs> for a day and a half <laughs> until they find <laughs> solutions to problems. Okay. And what a <laughs> unique way to attack a problem that obviously affects so many people is, is getting young people there part of the huge thing about this particular event? Yeah, you know, suicide, as you said, I mean, it, unbelievable statistics. Um, it's growing at 11% a year for the last 10 years. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's not well understood. Yeah. Uh, suicide is very taboo. Uh, people don't like to talk about it. People are embarrassed to say that their children um, killed themselves. People are embarrassed to talk about having suicide ideation. And so getting people together is hard mm -hmm. to talk about it. Yeah. Also, it's very fragmented. Uh, researchers get together for their conferences, school teachers get together for their conferences, um, young people don't get together and talk about it. And so what the Suicide Project is gonna do is bring all of those people together in one place and talk about it. So how did you, uh, you know, who did you approach? Who did you find? Who are you bringing together on Saturday? So we have um, world-renowned researchers who are gonna talk about new technologies, really exciting technologies um, that we think we're gonna be able to commercialize. Um, school teachers, uh, we have clinicians who are trying to change the way we look at mental health and, and suicide. Um, <coughs> entrepreneurs who are working on apps they think can help um, mm -hmm. school children. Um, and um, mothers and fathers who have lost children. Um, and we have somebody speaking at the conference who uh, contemplated suicide right around the same time my son killed himself and, and ended up not killing himself, which is uh, which is going to be an interesting talk. We just did a story, I think, within the last couple of days about how federally they want to change the suicide hotline number from a, you know, a big long 1-800 number down to a three or four digit number or something like that. Are those the kinds of even incremental changes that can be made to make a difference? I think so, yeah. and, and I think um, you know, the, the goal of my foundation is end suicide. Yeah. Obviously, one, that's never going to happen, really. But, mm -hmm. but you can take individual pieces and slices and different things that can make a difference and, and work on them. And things like that are important, and they get ignored. Um, they really do, because nobody talks about the problem. Do you think it starts with, with real little kids, though? It does. Yeah, how? Um, it, it, it's about building resiliency in children, having them understand that there are people they can talk to, how to cope with problems that exist. We have eight-year-old children killing themselves in the United States right now. We had one in Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and I think um, when I was eight years old, I'm not even sure I understood what death was, let mm -hmm. alone could contemplate the idea right. of killing myself. Yeah. Um, and the fact that we now have children in a position where they feel like that's the only way out is, is terrifying as a parent. I have two other children, one that's 11 and one that's 17, and um, I worry about them every day. Well, well, it's, very, it's very brave what you're doing, yeah. very important what you're doing. We, we thank you for taking some time with us today. Well, thank you for having me. The Summit, uh, the Suicide Project Hackathon and Summit is Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, Union Hall and Over the Rhine. We have information at local12.com. Just click the Get It links. Don, best of luck. Thank you.